Hey what's up YouTube, this is Randy with my Samsung Epic 4G. I'm going to be showing you how to install the new Clockwork Mod version 3.0.0.5. Um, you're going to use this to install custom ROMs that run on the Edify script and use the EXT4 partitions. And you're going to install this the same way you did your one-click root and recovery before. Um, the first thing you need to do is go into Applications, Settings, and Applications, Development, and check the USB debugging. Then you can go back home. Once you do that, you're going to need to plug in your USB. And then you're going to go to your computer. And you're going to open up the one click root. I'll provide the link to this uh, new one underneath the video. You're going to click on Run. It's going to tell you press any key to continue. And it will begin the uh, root process and it will also install the new Clockwork Mod 3.0.0.5. Give it just a couple minutes here. Okay, phone should be restarting now. Keep in mind I'm doing this on a fresh ROM. This is the stock DK28 2.2. And as you can see on the screen, everything finished the way it was supposed to. Hit enter. It's going to close everything out. And now you should be able to Power off your device. And then you should be able to boot into the new Clockwork Mod version 3, which will have a black background with uh, orange letters. You go into it the same way you always have. It's volume down, camera, power, and you hold them until you get into your Clockwork screen. And for the very first time, it's going to see that we're on an RFS file system. So it is going to back up the RFS, convert everything to EXT4, and then restore everything back to the way it was. And this will take a couple minutes.
and it's almost completed the backup. Okay, now we should be moving on to backing up the data still. We're getting there. I do believe that a lot of the ROMs that are going to be coming out are going to require Clockwork 3. Um, from what I've seen on the XDA forums, uh, several of the ROMs are using the Edify script and uh, you need Clockwork 3 in order to install those ROMs. So uh, once you get an idea of how to do this, I'll do some, ex some extra videos uh, showing the different ROMs that uh, that operate using Clockwork Mod 3. It'll be the same as it always has been. You'll flash in the exact same way you always have before. The only difference is it's going to be running on the ext4 partition. in the process of restoring the system right now. And there you go. This is the new Clockwork mod. 3.0.0.5. And everything has been converted to EXT4 now. So that's going to end this video. Um, check the rest of my videos out. Comment, subscribe. Um, here shortly I will post some new videos of uh, the ROMs that will use this new Clockwork mod version 3 with the ext4 partitions and the edify script so uh thanks